can see him, he's kind of sleeping a bit, he's buried under the sand, but actually what I'll do is I'll slowly put my hand underneath the ray and then pull my hand away. What happens is ray This was definitely a freak. I mean, this is comparable to being hit by a meteor. meteor. It's extremely rare. Okay. When you're at the beach, people kind of recommend you do the stingray shuffle, and that's where you take your feet and kind of grind them along the sand rather than taking big steps and stepping down. If you step directly on their back, that is what happens when they'll sometimes lash their tail up and stick you with the barb. Sometimes they will because the rays are trying to get away. That's not the normal response. It's not like a bee. Uh, if you're at the beach, you do get stung by a stingray. Um, First thing is don't panic. It's not life-threatening. The venom will not kill you. Uh, the venom will hurt. Uh, definitely will hurt. Um, it burns. Uh, you feel a lot of pressure. But the venom is denatured by heat. So the first thing you want to do is get yourself to hot water. As hot a water as you can stand and run your foot or your hand, wherever you're stung, you want to run that under as hot a water as you can stand for as long as possible. Now the location on the barb is, is fairly similar in all species. See, in that case, he felt a little threatened. So he didn't lash up with his tail, but he did 